Something faint moved across the darkness, so faint that most instruments barely registered it. A sliver of reflected starlight, stretched thin across millions of kilometers, wandered into the inner solar system. But then James Webb turned its golden mirrors toward that glimmer, and in a moment, everything changed. What had once been a distant anomaly transformed into one of the most detailed looks humanity has ever had at an interstellar visitor. The object called 3I Atlas, only the third confirmed wanderer from another star system, suddenly stood revealed with a clarity no one expected or thought possible. For years, the only interstellar objects observed, Aumuamua and 2I, Borsov, had slipped past Earth with frustrating speed, leaving behind blurry frames, incomplete data, and more questions than answers. But this time, astronomers were ready. Tracking networks followed 3I Atlas the moment it appeared, observatories across the globe pooled resources, and teams worked tirelessly calculating its path with precision measured in fractions of seconds. They caught it early. They caught it bright. And most importantly, they caught it at the precise moment when sunlight illuminated its form without overwhelming Webb's instruments. When the first processed image returned to Earth, astronomers stared at their screens in disbelief. 3I Atlas was no shapeless smudge or comet-like blur. It was a world of its own. Its contours were sharp, its surface rich with texture, its thermal patterns layered with astonishing complexity. No one had predicted the level of detail the telescope would reveal. Researchers expected a small icy shard. Instead, they found a relic sculpted by environments unlike anything in our solar system. Infrared mapping showed ridges, depressions, and fractured channels twisting across the surface. Some regions reflected heat unevenly, hinting at patches of rock intertwined with frozen volatiles. Certain areas seemed to contain silicates fused with carbon-rich compounds, the kind usually found in completely different temperature zones around young stars. Such a mix should not exist together, yet there it was, preserved perfectly in a body traveling between stars for unimaginable spans of time. Scientists quickly realized this interstellar traveler had once lived through a violent and crowded environment. Its elongated shape bore the scars of ancient impacts. Cracks like lightning bolts stretched across its crust. Subtle variations in brightness revealed patches of material that must have been deposited at different stages of its life. Each layer told a part of a story stretching back to the earliest days of its original star system. Webb's instruments also captured the faint tremors of outgassing jets. They weren't dramatic or comet-like, but wisps, narrow streams of volatile ices awakening after countless years in utter cold. These gentle jets hinted at cavities and complex pockets beneath the crust, like tiny vaults holding fragments of frozen chemistry from a star system no human has ever seen. Even more astonishing was the distribution of organic molecules across its surface. These weren't simple hydrocarbons. They showed signs of complex polymerization, molecules pieced together over immense stretches of time. Their survival was shocking. Cosmic rays, deep space cold, and relentless radiation should have destroyed them long ago. Yet they endured, embedded in the body of a wandering fragment drifting through the galaxy. Their preservation offered powerful evidence that the chemical foundations of life might be far more widespread and far more mobile than previously believed. With every detail of the image, 3I Atlas transformed from a curiosity into a living record of galactic history. The infrared halo around it revealed dust grains lifting from the surface as solar warmth increased. The grains were unlike typical comet dust. Some contained exotic carbon species rarely seen in our solar system. Even the structure of the dust cloud surrounding the object hinted at long-term weathering by interstellar winds. Its rotation added yet another layer of intrigue. Webb detected tiny fluctuations in brightness as the object tumbled. This was no smooth spin, 
It was chaotic, uneven, almost disoriented. Such a tumble suggested a past collision or a gravitational shove from a passing star. At some point long ago, its entire axis of rotation had shifted, leaving behind a surface marked by misaligned reflective patterns that no longer corresponded to its current motion. Every pixel of Webb's image deepened the mystery. Every thermal patch, every spectral signature, every faint plume of gas whispered of events this object endured long before it approached our sun. Scientists found themselves staring not merely at a visitor, but at a messenger, one that had crossed gulfs of space so vast that human imagination struggles to grasp them. And now, for the first time, humanity was reading a message written across its surface by time, violence, radiation, and cosmic wandering. 3i Atlas had already reshaped theories of how interstellar objects form. But the most surprising discoveries were still ahead. As astronomers dug deeper into the data, the object revealed secrets that challenged existing models of star system evolution, cosmic chemistry, and the movement of matter between stars. The second part of the story begins with what Webb found when scientists turned their attention to the interior, the hidden layers, and the strange thermal rhythms beating through the object like a pulse from another world. As researchers continued dissecting the Webb data, they realized the image didn't just show a surface, it exposed the anatomy of a traveler forged in places humanity has never been. The thermal maps revealed something curious, heat didn't spread evenly through the body. Some regions cooled almost immediately after exposure to sunlight, while others held warmth far longer than expected. That difference suggested a complex internal architecture, dense rocky zones mixed with porous pockets of loose dust, and perhaps even remnants of ancient ices sealed behind hardened crust. These heat retention patterns formed a kind of cross-section, letting scientists infer what lay beneath without ever touching the object. The deeper the analysis went, the clearer it became that 3i Atlas had experienced multiple phases of formation. It appeared to have an older core, dense, compacted material from its birth near a young star, surrounded by layers of dust and frozen compounds accumulated during its endless drift between stars. Each layer was like a timestamp carved not by biology but by cosmic history. Even stranger were the patterns of microscopic erosion carved along its body. Webb caught tiny linear streaks running across the surface, some aligned perfectly with its long axis, others cutting at odd angles. These grooves likely formed as the object moved through regions of interstellar dust with varying density. In effect, 3i Atlas had acted like a recorder, capturing the texture of the interstellar medium in physical marks etched across its shell. Such evidence provided rare clues about dust distributions far beyond any spacecraft's reach. Polarization patterns in the reflected light added yet another revelation. Different regions scattered infrared light in different directions, implying that the surface grains weren't random, they were aligned, compressed, or deposited under specific conditions. Some areas showed shock signatures, likely from high-speed impacts. Others displayed softer patterns formed by slow accumulation of microscopic particles. Together, these clues allowed astronomers to reconstruct a timeline, violent beginnings, gradual aging, long phases of solitude, and occasional episodes of heating or disturbance. One discovery in particular captured the scientific community's attention. Certain chemical traces found in the spectra hinted that 3i Atlas had once passed near a bright, energetic star. This close brush might have temporarily heated the object, activating hidden volatile pockets and causing gas to seep through crevices, carving tiny channels that Webb now detected. These channels were preserved like scars, marking moments when the traveler came alive in unexpected bursts of activity during its voyage. That wasn't the only clue pointing to dramatic past encounters. The bands of reflectivity running across its surface did not match its current spin axis. This mismatch suggested that the object once spun differently, possibly flipped or reoriented by a glancing collision or gravitational tug. 
The fact that those ancient bands still remained visible meant that the object's outer layers had remained stable for a very long time, shielding older features even as newer ones formed. Webb also detected faint emission from ices not typically found in our solar system. Some exhibited unusual spectral shifts, signs that they had undergone chemical changes over extreme timescales. These were ancient ices, modified by cosmic rays, transformed by deep cold, and preserved in a way that made them invaluable for understanding chemistry in distant star systems. Their signatures matched compounds predicted to exist in the outer disks of newborn stars, suggesting that 3i atlas originated at the boundary where warmth and cold meet in the birthplace of planets. The slow release of this ancient ice as it warmed created a thin halo around the object, a barely visible whisper of dust and vapor. By studying this halo, scientists gained insight into how interstellar objects shed mass as they enter new star systems. The grains drifting away from the surface were rich in exotic carbons and radiation-altered organics. Each grain carried chemical information from environments billions of kilometers apart. The rotation of the object added further mystery. Its irregular tumbling meant that different regions were alternately exposed to the sun, creating a patchwork of warming and cooling that revealed differences in grain size and compaction. Some zones were fluffy and porous, others dense and fused. Webb's thermal lag data let scientists map these differences with stunning precision. It was the closest thing to touching an interstellar object without leaving Earth. The significance extended beyond science. For many, the image of 3i Atlas captured something emotional, a sense of connection across impossible distances. It was a reminder that the galaxy is not a quiet collection of isolated stars. It is a place of motion, collisions, exchanges, and wandering messengers that cross the void in silence until one day, by chance, one drifts close enough for us to detect. 3i Atlas arrived unannounced, spent only a short moment in our skies, and will soon return to the darkness. But in that brief encounter, it opened a window to environments we may never visit, carrying the fingerprints of ancient stars and the echoes of the earliest planetary systems. James Webb transformed that passing moment into a permanent record, an image that changed what humanity knows about the galaxy and revealed how much remains undiscovered.